Hello my besties, how are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. No, I'm not at the florist shop, still my kitchen. <laughs> and she asked me to make a casket spray for him. I thought, oh no, you know, this is so, this is so important. I don't think I can do it justice. Let me just call the florist. Well, the florist told me starting price is $350. What? So here I am. I went to the grocery store, got all these beautiful flowers and greenery for $66. Hope I can do a beautiful arrangement. I'm gonna take you along because you might be in a similar situation. You know, let's see if we can make a beautiful arrangement of a budget, okay? Let's get started. So I got all the flowers and supplies needed at my local grocery store called ShopRite. I got the roses, two dozens, lilies, two bunches, and two bunches of asters. I separated all of them. These are the extras that uh, were included with the bouquets. Some ivy from the outside. If you can find free supplies outside, go ahead. Plus, I got extra pack of fern and baby's breath. I also asked the florist to sell me a little tray. If you don't have one, you can use a Tupperware container. And I also bought an Oasis floral foam from her. Uh, that was additional cost of two dollars it's a higher density foam and flowers stay uh, alive longer you can find it on amazon.com if your store doesn't have it i also asked her for a little bit of the waterproof tape because i didn't have any on hand and she saved me a trip to a craft store so that was so nice of her first i added the flower vitamin packets to the water and then toss in the floral foam and let it soak for as long as you can. It will soak up in a matter of seconds, but the longer the better, trust me. When ready, press it down in your container, cut it down to size if you have to. Next, use your waterproof tape to secure the brick to the container. And of course, my nosy Tweety bird has to see what's going on over here. What's so interesting? <laughs> this is not good for you. Get away. It's not a water fountain. <laughs> this tape is great because it remains intact even when it's exposed uh, to all the moisture. So just press it down and now it's nice and secure. We are going to start off with the largest uh, leaves that we have, the palm leaf stems. These came with the lilies, so I was lucky, didn't have to pay extra for them. So I insert one on one end and then the other two on the opposite end. On the sides, just like so. Yeah, you can say this is shaped like a letter Y. This part is going to be for the front of the casket, for an open casket. So you can even trim it a little bit if it's too long. Just uh, cut diagonally. And the other end we will keep long, extended, pointed towards the end of the casket. And now we will fill all of this in with the fern. We add one to the front, uh, two on the sides, and you know, uh, feel free to insert these at an angle, just like so. So they're not just flat, the one dimensional. Insert two more on the sides. Uh, keep in mind to hold that Y shape, okay? As you can see, these are pointing to the front, the other one's pointing to the back. And let's continue adding. We're going to add two in the back now. Now let's add some on top, one pointing towards the front, one towards the back. And now let's add two on the left and the right. Now 
and we can use one uh, more longer one in the back. I just keep extending the back. Okay, I think we are done with the fern. This is what we got so far. As you can see, I'm trying to hold that shape. And uh, next we are going to insert some other greenery. I got these nice stems. Let's add a long one in the back. Two in the front, I point those corners. Have a few more, so I'm going to add one right here in the center. And let's see two more. One to the back, I guess, and one to the front. <laughs> You see, I'm doing this first time in my life too, so we are learning together. And this is what we got so far. It's very important to have a nice green background and the right shape. And before we add the flowers, we still have one more thing, that ivy I picked out outside. Uh, so it's also a different texture. Uh, the longer piece I'm going to add in the back. And again, two shorter pieces in the front. You see what a nice uh, different texture it adds. And then I have a few more pieces, so I'm just adding them in between. And, you know, just playing around to see what will look good. All right, we got the green base done, and now we are going to add the flowers, starting with the beautiful lilies. Uh, if you don't have lilies, you might want to add gladiolis. Uh, as you can see, these are not fully open yet, but when they open, they're going to fill in even more. So we are going to add the nicest one in the front, in the center. And then we are going to add another one on the opposite end, a long one back here.
And mind you, all these lily pads will open up soon and fill in even more. And here's the elongated back. Isn't that beautiful? Look how big this arrangement is, right? I don't even know how it happened. I just prayed, Lord, use these hands to create the most beautiful arrangement because I didn't know what I was doing. This is my first time ever creating a casket spray, but I hope I did it justice, I did it with love. And if you are hesitating, I want to encourage you to follow these steps. You can do it and save a lot of money because I know these final expenses are so high. <music>